KHQ local news reporter Jay Jordan went to Moses Lake today to learn more. She joins us live in the studio with what people in the area had to say about this horrific attack. Well, Stephanie, right now, six-year-old Alex Medina is in the pediatric intensive care unit at Harborview Medical Center in Seattle after being airlifted from Samaritan Hospital in Moses Lake. Now, on Friday, Alex was playing in his backyard when a pit bull broke through the fence and attacked him. Now, we're told that Alex suffered severe trauma to his face, scalp, and ear. You're looking at video shot today of that dog. He is quarantined at the Grant County Animal Outreach. Now, after 10 days, police will decide if he is allowed to go back to his owner. This brutal attack though has hit very close to home for neighbors, especially Sue Lima Blanco, who says she's now nervous about walking in the neighborhood. I'm a walk through here, through where the fence is right here. I always um, get caught up with that dog barking at me, like acting like really mean and stuff. You know, like, is he going to bite me? Is he going to get loose? You know, that kind of thing. So now with this that happened, I'm kind of, you know, scared for my life. Is it safe to walk these streets anymore? Now, today, we also went to the home of the owner of the pit bull. Please tell us the owner of the unlicensed dog is Tasha Klein. No one did answer the door there. Now, Blanco says she is still in complete shock and can't believe this attack happened. She says there are a number of pit bulls in their neighborhood and never in a million years thought that this could happen. Reporting live, Jade Jordan, KHQ Local News. And Jade also spoke.